By the time Detroit hit the turn of the century in 1900, at 286,000 people. Uh, but at that time, it was still one of the uh, <clears throat> larger cities in America. And indeed, it was one of the nation's industrial powerhouses. You got Detroit at its peak, yet the seeds of its destruction are in place. In the end, they got rid of one of their major problems, the car companies, overcapacity, too many factors. The bad part is, how did they do that? Laying off thousands and thousands of people. Michigan lost nearly a million manufacturing jobs over the last decade. Nearly a million jobs in a decade of good, high-paying jobs. So if you have a population that is undereducated, which Michigan is, if you have a concentration, like again, going back to the city of Detroit itself, that half of them are functionally illiterate, half the citizens are functionally illiterate, besides the drugs, the other problems we have, if you don't educate the population that is uneducated, they're just falling farther behind the curve. The fact is, the city's been mismanaged. What's the American dream? I would argue the American dream is Americans pick themselves up and pull themselves along. But to many people, the American dream is get a bigger house, bigger car. But my point being is that the car companies uh, start to fold. Now, there's a study that I've seen, uh, an excellent dissertation of U of M from a long time ago, uh, about the impact. And uh, while there were 15,000 people working at Packard, the, the impact was 50,000 jobs in the area. Because if the factory closes down, who needs the restaurants around it? Who's going to live around it? You move to where the jobs are. And these expressways that I mentioned to you. Well, it's much easier to put a new car plant up in Livonia in 1950 on a big open space of land than it is refurbish one here. This is when so many people wanted to, hey, let it die. Romney, let Detroit go bankrupt. Oh, yeah, but if we had these educational programs, that would help. There's no money. There's no money to keep the lights on in the city. What do you, what do you, how do you feel about uh, your typical graffiti around? What do you think when you see that? I actually, the first, I used to not like graffiti. Um, just because I don't think I paid enough attention to it, actually. I feel like this is an ex artful expression. And, um, and ever since then, I just kind of took the time to really look at what was being, well, the actual, like, artwork that's done. Like, like huge murals or names or things like that are beautiful. Um, and it brings light to something. Um, the project does a lot of different things. Uh -huh. We're art, community education, art education, or tourist destination. We, uh, through Tyree's art on the street, inadvertently um, has instilled a hope into the people in the community for change. Yeah. Um, a lot of things change on the street. Crime rate is way down and has been for many, many years. Um, people are taking pride and ownership of their property. How do you feel it's extremely viable in making a change? I yeah, absolutely, and I and I believe that it that it has. Um, if you look at any of the articles that are kind of coming out, and what's being written on Detroit right now is this whole revitalization of the city and what's the driving force of it right now. And one of the major aspects of that is art. I just got one more question for you. What, sure. what do you find beautiful about Detroit? What do I find beautiful? What do you find beautiful? I find the quite a couple of things beautiful. I find that I love the people who find beauty in the world. Um, so we have 
actually want to stop and look at what you're looking at. If you're a visual person, it's beautiful. The architecture is stunning. The landscape is stunning. It's not this dead, desolate area. It's, it's a city of, of, of hope, believers, uh, intellects. The, the people make the city the attractive city that it is to others. There's a little greediness about, the, about Detroiters. Uh, they're hardworking, but yet they're loving and compassionate, and they want what they want, and they want good for the city. Um, I just think it's, it's a cool city. It's full of creativity. I mean, chucked from music to poetry to artists, like visual artists. It's ridiculous the amount of talent that's in the city. A lot of pride. A lot of yeah, there yeah. is. There is for sure. Yeah.